Hello, and in this video, we're going to be adding in the cutout for where our clip for our subtle pen or our carabiner pen goes in. Uh, so we're adding the cutout, we're adding some details on the top, and then the spot for uh, that clip to insert into. Uh, so it's got a lot of small details going on. Uh, we'll do our best with those measurements. Uh, they may not be completely accurate, but we'll do our best to get them at least in the close ballpark. Uh, so first, I'm just going to start a sketch. Uh, we have this plane 2 we used last time. I'm going to reuse that same plane 2. Then I'm going to turn to my top view. I'll zoom in so we can see a little bit better. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, project or uh, use the geometry we already have. So I'm going to hit that use project button, the little cube up top. And I want to go from the inner line and then I want the outer line. I want to project those two out to my plane. Uh, then next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple lines. So I'm going to hit my line tool. Uh, if we look at our carabiner or subtle pen, we can see this top one. It goes from this inside and it goes up and out some. So we're going to go up and out some and put it on that line. Make sure it's coincident. Hit escape and we'll start a new line. And we'll do that same process down here on the bottom. On the bottom, you can see uh, from the inside, it actually comes up. And then goes out. Again, you just want to make sure it's not vertical. We're going to dimension it to make sure it's the right distance. Uh, so it doesn't have to be perfect at this time. Uh, then the third line we're going to add is going to be a construction line. I'm going to add a construction line uh, here at the top. And I'm going to make sure it's vertical when I create it. So that's at the very top. It's coincident at that top point. And that's just so I can dimension to that line here. Uh, so next I'm going to dimension. First I'm going to go from the inner to this line. And that's going to be a distance of 0.425. So 0.425. Uh, then I'm going to go from the outer to that line again. I'm going to bring it up above because it's the bigger value and get 0.55. And that's the portion my clip's going to clip into. Uh, then I'm going to come down on my uh, opposite side, my shorter side, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to this. Uh, plane or the base of my ellipse here. So I'm going to go to that plane we created previously. And on that bottom one, it's going to be a distance of 0.4. And on the upper one, it's going to be a distance of 0.425. So again, to that same plane. And we're going to do a distance of, once I click, 0.425. And that gives us that location for our cutout. Uh, if we want to, we could trim. We could take scissors and trim off these portions we don't need. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it helps to take off those portions you don't need. Uh, so now we have the shape uh, included or within our object, uh, and we can extrude remove it. So I'm going to hit my green check to accept, and all I'm going to do is hit my extrude, remove, and we want to click inside that box so we get rid of all of that portion. Uh, right now it shows we're getting rid of one inch, and you can see it's all gone. Uh, that's fine if you do one inch. You can change to through all if you want as well. I'm just going to keep it there because it's, it's easiest to uh, just keep it where I'm at. Uh, so that gives us our cutout. Uh, next, we have some smaller details we're going to work on. Uh, the first thing is if we look from a side view, it has this uh, triangular portion that's kind of cut in or cut out so that the clip can fit into. So I'm going to go to my top view. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it on that ISO view, and I'm going to sketch on plane 2 again. Now I'll change to my ISO view, or my top view from the ISO. Uh, and what we're going to do is sketch in a little triangle. So again, uh, you may want to project your geometry. Uh, you don't have to, but it may be useful to project that geometry so you have those lines to work with. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and project, and I want to project this line here. I need this point here on the end. and I could reuse this line or I could recreate that line. Either way, it's going to end up working. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to start by creating my line. So I'm going to go from this corner point that we just projected, and we wanted to go straight up vertical. So I want to make sure it's vertical, and it's going to go up vertical a distance of 0.145, so almost to the outer edge. Uh, but if you zoom in, it's not all the way to the outer edge. Uh, then we're going to come back down over to uh, this line. I'm not going to go to the midpoint. I'm just going to put it on line. And then we'll close off our triangle. Uh, then I'll dimension uh, this inner portion. And that's going to be a distance of uh, 0.12, it looks like. So 0.12. And that fully dimensions our triangle here. Then I hit my green check to accept. And this is going to be an extrude remove. This one's not going to go all the way through. Uh, so our distance in this case we measured, it looks to be 0 
hit enter to accept and your green check to accept that and that gives us a cut in that does not go all the way through to the other side uh, but we do want the same cut in on the other side so what we have to do the easiest way is just to mirror it so i'm going to select up top we have this mirror tool i'm going to say mirror and then what says part feature we want to feature mirror and we want to mirror that extrusion you can click on it it's easiest just to click on extrude for since we just did it then you have to tell it the meal plane, which is just going to be that top plane that we already have. And you can already see it's making that cut out for us. We do our green check to accept, and that gives us that cut in for us. So now we have those spots for that clip to go into. Uh, next, if you look at it from the what's going to be called the back on here, the side of it, uh, we have this uh, kind of triangular cutout. We're going to add that triangular cutout in now. Uh, so first, I'm just going to change to an ISO view, uh, and then we're going to add in a plane. So I'm going to hit plane. I'm going to go on the front, and I want it to go behind the object, so I'm behind where it's going to go. Uh, so I'm just going to flip the direction. Uh, how far you have it, as long as it's behind the object, it doesn't matter. Right now I'm one inch, so I'm just going to keep it there. I could move it closer, but I don't need to. Uh, so then I'm going to start a sketch on this new plane 3 we just got, and turn to my back view. I'll zoom in so we can see we're doing lots of small details. Uh, first I want to project. I want to project uh, this point here. Uh, the point on the inner of the cutout and this point on the inner of the cutout as well. Uh, then we're going to roughly sketch in our triangular cut in. It's kind of a weird triangle arrow point type shape. Uh, so we're going to start here, go out some almost all the way, uh, come in a little bit, and then go back out to the outside edge. Uh, we have some dimensions to give us a better idea of where that's at. So from this point to the base, uh, we measured, again, these are kind of rough estimates on these measurements, I believe, uh, but we got 0.09 for that one, so 0.09. Uh, then from the base to the second end point, it was 1.11, so 0.11. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can do our next thing. Uh, and then we want to go from the point to the plane above it, so I'm just going to select that plane above it and move it way out here so it's out of our way. And the innermost one was 0 0.045, and then the outer one was 0 0.025. So I hit that plane, and we get 0 0.025. Uh, you want to make sure you get that plane. If you do it on the curve, it's not going to be able to, to dimension to that curve. Uh, so now what we want to do is mirror. Uh, so we can reflect this to the other side so we don't have to redraw that it's the same object. So I'm going to select mirror. I'm going to select my mirror line first by just selecting that mid plane, that top plane. Uh, then I have to select what items I want to mirror. So I'm going to select that line, select this line, and then I select this line, and it mirrors that off for me. Uh, then we want to project or follow along and cut off this outermost portion as well. Uh, so you can project this line, uh, the curve, the line, and then make sure you get the line and not the point. I just wanted to get the midpoint, so I'm going to zoom in and get the line. And then we'll do the same thing up here. The line, the curved line, the straight line, and then this curved line as well. Uh, and that's just so we can cut off this whole portion here. We don't want to leave some of it behind. So I want to cut all of that out. Uh, so once you've done that, you've selected those lines, uh, then we can hit our green check to accept. And we want to extrude and remove these two segments that we just uh, selected on. So I selected one, and it wants to remove it. Oh, we missed one of the lines when we did it, so I'm going to have to go back and reselect that line. Uh, so I'm going to hit my X. I'm going to go back to sketch six, and I want to project one of those lines again. So I missed, uh, when I was projecting, I missed that curve. So I missed this curve on my projection. Now I should have two clo completely close uh, objects that we can remove. Uh, so once we do that, we want to... Hit uh, extrude, remove. This time it's not a blind remove. Uh, we want to do up to face, uh, and we're going to tell it first what we want to extrude, or remove in this case, which is these two lines. Uh, up to the face, I have to tell it what face to go up to, which is this face behind it. And we're going to want an offset distance. And we're going to want to change it so it actually goes into and cuts that object out. So it cuts out. And right now it's at one inch and it's going back behind it. We don't want it going behind it. As long as it's greater than the thickness of your piece, which is 0.15, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to type in 0.25 since that's easy to type in. And hit our green check to accept. So again, up to face, uh, tell it what to extrude, 
I select the face we click on and then we can hit our green check and it makes that cut out for us. Uh, I'll move it around and you can see it makes that pointy uh, shape on it. Next, we're going to make a box to cut out. So I'm going to go back up to the top. I'm going to go back on plane 3 and I'm going to do a sketch again on plane 3. Uh, this time it's going to be a lot quicker, easier type of cutout because it's just going to be a rectangle. Uh, I'm going to make two rectangles just to make it quicker and easier so I don't have to do as much dimension. Uh, all I'm going to do is go from this point, that origin point, and then we're going to go up and over to the base. Uh, we want to go a distance of 0.05 is my height. And that sets us in place. Uh, hopefully I've gone all the way to the base. I didn't, so I'm going to... Uh, Try to make that a coincidence on that point and this point and that makes it go all the way to that base uh, and that should be good for that one and then i'm going to make the same i'm going to mirror that shape across so i'm going to mirror and i'm just going to hit this uh, center line and then i'm going to mirror these three lines across so i don't have to redraw uh, i can trim off the center line if i want or i could keep it it doesn't really matter i'm going to actually keep it to, that way it keeps my dimension on there uh, once you've done that, we can green check, and we're just going to extrude, uh, remove, same way as before. Uh, we can do up to face. Uh, we can click on the two boxes we want. The face we want is just going to be that face we just drew on. And our distance, in this case, we can do a distance uh, 0.35. So we just go 0.35. And again, that just gets through that whole shape there. Uh, right now it's going the wrong direction, so I want to cut back into the object so it removes from that face. Uh, so we've done up to face, uh, remove, and it does not want to go back into the object. There we go. So we want to make it so it goes back into the object until the middle point, and we measured it to be 0 0.035. Hit our green check to accept, and that gives us that cutout we need. Uh, finally, there's a hole for that pin to go into. We want to add in that hole for that pin. Uh, so I'm just going to sketch on the top of my object again. Uh, so again, it's a sketch. Uh, I'm going to go on plane 2, which is above it. And I'm going to go to my top view. Uh, this time, I'm just doing a circle. I'm going to put it roughly in the location, and then we'll dimension to fully place it. 0 0.06 is the uh, diameter of that circle uh, that we measured. And we want to locate it 0.1 in and 0 0.05 over. So I'm going to dimension uh, 0.1 in from this endpoint and 0 0.05 up. So up from that point, get the center of that circle, and it was again 0 0.045. And that locates that circle for us. Hit our green check to accept. And this one just an extrude, remove. Click inside the circle. Uh, it's going a full inch, that's fine, as long as it goes all the way through the object we'll get. Uh, so this is adding a lot of those minor, small details into uh, your uh, pen top, so your, your KB and pen, so we can add in that clip portion. Uh, lots of small details. Make sure you're clicking on the right spot to get it working. Uh, if you don't like looking at all these planes, we can take off all these planes now that we were using. Uh, you can keep them there. It's just for aesthetics. If you want to get rid of them, you can get rid of them. Uh, but that's how you uh, do all these uh, small details on your Caribbean pen top. Hopefully this helps you to create it. Thank you and good luck.